Hey, what's up guys? It's Mayhem here, and I do apologize if I sound a little bit weird. I am sick at the moment, but uh, other than that, this tutorial should be pretty great. Um, we're going to be figuring out how to... Actually, I'm going to be explaining how to get an emulator for your computer. Otherwise, how to be able to play Nintendo 64 games or Game Boy games on your computer. Uh, first thing, you're going to want to go ahead and head down to the description and get this website. Uh, it'll be in the description like I said you want to click get project 64 also make sure that you have WinRAR installed it will also be in the description I'm not going to show how to install that but it's pretty simple so get that or 7-zip either one it's your choice but WinRAR will be in the description so once you come to project 64 you're going to want to click on get project 64 I do believe that's what it says and then you want to get the most updated version so in my case it's version 2.1 so I'm going to click that and it's going to start downloading and we're going to wait 15 seconds and then we'll open it up in WinRAR. Uh, next you want to go, even if it's not done downloading, you want to make a new folder on your desktop or wherever you want to keep it and just name it ROMs. So that way you can keep track of all your ROMs so you don't lose them. So keep that on your desktop. Uh, that should be done now. Okay, so we want to go ahead and open up Project 64, run no viruses run again uh... just next next uh... don't i wouldn't do this so uncheck all this because this is a toolbar so i mean don't really want that crap uh... don't want that so just make sure you read everything and don't install something you don't want like i did not want any of that stuff you gotta watch out for that when you're installing stuff All right. So you don't need to launch it right now, but um, you can. So we'll go ahead and open it up. We want it in English, and this is what we'll have. Next, you're going to want to go into the description and click on CoolRom.com. This is where you'll get all the games. Uh, most of the games that you're going to want, are, they'll be on the front page. So uh, I'll start off with uh, Super Mario 64. So you just want to click on that. Then... Uh, scroll down just a little bit and hit download now and you'll have to wait for the website a mere seven seconds so don't worry about that once that's done you click download your file and then you gotta wait for it to download and now you can exit out or minimize that website open up that file that you just downloaded and you're gonna want to uh, just drag this onto your desktop and then you can exit out of it and then put that in your ROMs folder so you don't lose that. Now you just want to come over here to Project 64, hit File, hit Open ROM. Now uh, we're already in our ROMs folder. Click on the ROM that you want to play, hit Open, and here you go. Alright, so I did do a little bit of messing around. Uh, now unfortunately there's not much you can do with your mouse, I don't believe. Um, you can, however, change the button layout for your game. So you're gonna want to go to co options and then configure controller plugin. Now, once you're here, all you want to do is um, read, and then it'll tell you what the buttons will do when you click them. So if I want uh, my D-pad up, I wanted that to be W. So I'd click this square right here, and then I'd hit W on the keyboard. So you just do that for all your things. Uh, I would leave everything the same except for changing the buttons. I don't know what all this other stuff does, so I'd leave all that the same except for your buttons. So you can click OK once that's done. Also, you can make it how loud you want it if you click on the audio thing and then you click OK. Alright guys, so I have figured out a few more things. Um, first of all, if you want to pause your game, you can do so by clicking System and hit Pause. Then you can unpause it by clicking Resume under System. Um, also, if you want to save your game, uh, I figured out how to do this. It was a little bit difficult, but uh, you want to click Options, first of all, and hit Settings. Make sure Hide Advanced Settings is unchecked. Hit Apply, and then hit OK. Also, now you're going to want to go into your ROMs folder and create a new folder within that for each individual game. So, Alright, so I'm going to name this one Super Mario Saves because this is where I'll keep my Super Mario Saves. So once we have that folder, we can exit out of our ROMs folder, come into our game. As you'll see, I'm standing in this location. I'm going to want to hit System, Save As, and then we'll scroll down to our ROMs folder. 
click our Super Mario saves, and name it Save. Click Save, and now uh, I'll run over here, and I'm going to get this message here from this dude. And we'll just scroll through this right click. And now we'll hit save so we don't ever have to do that again. And now if we go into our ROMs, Super Mario saves, we'll have a save here. So now if I exit out of my emulation, I want to click file, open ROM. And I'm going to want to go into our ROMs folder and still open up Super Mario 64. We'll let it load. Once it's loaded up a little bit, you can now go into system, hit load, click save, hit open, and you'll be back right where you left off. Okay guys, so very quickly I would like to apologize for all the cuts in the videos. That's usually not a part of my videos, but in this case it was because I was coughing and I had to cut that out. Um, but other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy using your emulator. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, it helps me out a ton. And I am Mayhem, guys, and I'll see you next time.